Hello, friends. Have you ever gazed up into the night sky and wondered at the possibility of life on other planets? What marvelous beings might exist out there, hands extended in friendship, awaiting the moment when we humans take our first tentative steps into space? What tales will be told of that glorious day when we are first contacted by our brothers from beyond the stars? Five. All systems go, General. Four. Come on, baby, show us what you got. Three. What the hell? Two. What in the blue blazes is that? One. No, wait, stop the countdown. I should never have sent you. What's shaking, Pox? You look a little, what's the word, constipated. <sighs> Let's just say I hope you turn out to be less of an evolutionary dead end than your predecessor. You lost me. Shall I tell you a secret? Few of our people know this. But the DNA patterns in our cloning banks are becoming more and more degraded with each new clone. That's bad, right? Only if we want to retain our immortality through cloning. Of course it's bad! I sent Crypto-136 in search of a planet we visited many eons ago. A planet seeded with pure Furon DNA. But I lost contact. Let me get this straight. You sent me, uh, him, Crypto-136 to a hostile planet, and he's disappeared. Maybe captured, maybe even being tortured as we speak. Well, I wouldn't jump to any conclusion. I bet you wouldn't. Let me tell you something, Pox. You're a smart cookie. But there's a time for thought, and there's a time for action. And this is one of those times. Which? The second one. <sighs> Perhaps you're right, 137. Of course I'm right. You kidding me? A cryptosporidium captured by a bunch of monkeys? We gotta go in. We gotta crack some graniums. We gotta rescue me. Him. He's gotta rescue me. I mean, we gotta... I gotta... Brains, man. When do I get to blow things up? Patience, Crypto. Patience. I take your point. Prepare the mothership. That's what I'm talking about. So, what's the name of this crummy planet? Our destination. The planet Earth.
Orthopox to Cryptosporidium 137. Come in, Cryptosporidium. Crypto here. How's the view from the safety of the mothership? Very funny. Let's just say I'm glad I'm up here and you're down there. Loathsome little planet. Now, Crypto! To ensure this invasion runs smoothly, it is imperative we identify the dominant life forms on this world. Those lactating bovoids are likely candidates. Surely you don't mean those foul smelling gas bags beyond the fence? Yes, I'm afraid I do. But they're covered in nipples. Now, Cryptosporidium! Pay attention! You may look and aim by physically manipulating the right thumbstick. You can move about the area using the left thumbstick. We can peer into the minds of lower life forms via the cortex scan. Rip the proliterate thoughts from their pathetic little brains. Moo? Primitive, yet profound. Scan another one. I think I'm going to be violently ill. Attention, Earth creature. This planet is now part of the Furon Empire. Your benevolent masters welcome you. <coughs> At this time, we wish to abduct you for the purpose of scientific research. The procedure will be protracted and invasive. Do you have any objections? <coughs> Earth creature, I am addressing you. Respond or be vaporized. <coughs> I don't care how many stomachs you have. I don't have time for this. We Furons have evolved the astounding power of psychokinesis. Target an object or creature, then pull and hold the left trigger. While doing this, tap the Y button to lift the target into the sky. Pull and hold the left trigger. Then hurl the bovines by double tapping the Y button. Tell me we's having barbecue for dinner. Wait a minute. That ain't steak. That's holy mother of Martha. Give me the shotgun. Attention. You do in fact have weapons. Tommy. Try it now and give that puny farmer a taste of the old Zapomatic. Yeah. 
Evening, Ms. Turnip Seed. We got a call from Farmer Dixon over the other side of the state road. Said he heard some pretty strange noises coming from over this way. What is that? A new silo? Crypto! That human law enforcement officer is attempting an unauthorized entry of your spacecraft. If those pea brains were to get their hands on your quantum deconstructor, they could rip a hole in the space-time continuum! Boo oh, the furonity! Vaporize them, Crypto! Crypto, my radar shows more humans approaching. Hurry to the saucer! Did you see what I saw? You bet your sweet ass I did. What did you see? Little green man in a flying saucer wiping out the best infantry unit in the U.S. Army. Right. Good. Me too. Green? Not gray? Don't be a stiff. You know what it means? Absolutely. What? It means the papers got it right for once. Get on the horn to Silhouette. We've got the worst case scenario. The eggheads were actually onto something? I don't believe it. Believe it, Roswell was only the beginning. The invasion is on. Thank you. 
Crypto. Those brain stems should be more than sufficient for my research and testing purposes. Ah, oh, science! Crypto. Those brain stems should be more than sufficient for my research and testing purposes. Ah, oh, science! thinking. What can I, a lowly novice, do to help bring about the destruction of Earth and the inevitable reign of the Furon Empire? Well, I'll tell you. It was in the earliest days of the Empire we realized our species was doomed. Eons of waging war on inferior races with unregulated atomic weaponry had mutated our genes. We could not propagate due to our complete and utter lack of genitalia. Fortunately, a Furon ship happened upon Earth on its way back from destroying the Martians. Human society was young and nubile. Sailors on a foreign planet letting off steam, one thing led to another. Long story short, every human being alive today has buried deep in his genetic code a strand of Furon DNA. 
Over the eons, we've learned to clone ourselves. But with each iteration, the information degrades, and the results are increasingly unpredictable. The Furon genes in humanity's DNA are ancient, uncorrupted. They represent the future of the Furon race. If only we can get at them. Roswell, Rockwell, that's the last time I take direction from a Cryptosporidium. Crypto! I see a horde of humans up ahead, congregating at some sort of holy ground. Here's the plan. I want you to enter the fair, find a malleable human, and lead it back to your ship for... questioning. Get the picture? aware of you, the uh. more chance that those human policemen uh. and the military will come to investigate you and take you down. Uh. Everything seems okay now. me. What we need is the dumbest, weakest-willed, most malleable human we can find. Admittedly, the competition will be fierce. You just have to scan them all. Oh, I know. That reminds me- This human seems to be onto something. Will wonders never cease. Keep scanning the humans. Got my bus ticket! Hollywood! Here I come! Save me a seat at Schwab's. My mind says Amos, but my body says Andy. Man, oh man, she may be the dumbest Miss Rockwell ever. Check out them cantaloupes. <laughs> God, I love America. Yes. If only I could confess my secret love for Joe Bob. Joe Bob the chicken, that is. Damn, I love that animal. I want to marry Miss Rockwell, but instead I gotta sit here hour after hour, day after day, watching this dying wheel go up and down, round and round, over and over again until somebody dies. Hell of a metaphor. Yes, yes! Like proteins from the primordial ooze, a pattern is emerging. Scan some more human minds, Crypto! Oh boy, that Ike! You sure could barbecue with him. <laughs> oh boy, Ike, the barbecuing president. Now that's a platform for election. Some people call me Joe Sixpack. I don't know why. I never work out. The two sexiest words in the English language, stocks and bonds. What I need is Cary Grant and Gary Cooper. Now that's what I call town and country. You know what would really make this perfect? 
A new riding mower. Man against nature. Civilization is this beating back weird? wilderness. And I the eternal like struggle continues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Town's doing great. Business is booming. Hope is on the way. Yada, yada, yada. Let's uh, barrel through this it's puppy so country. I can get down to the real Stand business of governing. Want. Making time with the delicious Miss Rockwell. All right, Crypto. I've analyzed all the thoughts you've collected, and I think I've isolated the perfect subject for you to... Probe and vaporize? No. Abduct and bring back to the mothership. My way's more fun. Abduct, not vaporize. Okay, but humanity ain't gonna annihilate itself, all I'm saying. Can I finish? Can I stop you? As I was saying, the newly crowned Miss Rockwell looks like a prime candidate for testing. She's envied and desired by other humans. She's highly persuadable. Best of all, she apparently has a brain the size of a peanut. Hypnotize her and send her back to your ship for collection. I like that Nixon. Hey there. I got a feeling he's gonna make us cops popular again. Hold on to your hats, boys. I'm going commando. houses all look alike. Which one do I live in again? So responsive. This is gonna be good. Never fail. Hurry, Crypto! The authorities are on their way! Get in your saucer! Disturbances on the increase. Extra patrols have been sent to investigate.
Welcome to my little laboratory. You may not have known this, but I flatter myself to be something of an inventor. In my spare time, I've been developing some truly impressive weapon and ability upgrades. I'd be happy to share them with you. If you've got something for me in trade, say some of that delicious DNA you've collected. Hmm? Just what you need, a bigger gun. Well, you could learn to better utilize your abilities. All right, you sold me. The upgrade is yours. A saucer upgrade, perhaps? No? How about your gun or your abilities? Thank you. 